Undercover Carson, secret agent. Operation Death Ray, an assignment in Rio. waiting in Rio for the London report on the late Jacob Bruin's notebook and hoping it might lead us to scientist number four. Meanwhile, there was ample to occupy us. Two of our eye-catching female suspects had vanished without goodbye or adios. Faye Corelli and Hetty Fitzhenry. But a third remained to lure me into a clever trap. I prided myself on my undercover methods. None of the cloak and dagger stuff. Carson always tried to make the front page with his hobbies of collecting pipes and ancient weapons, of watching birds of the air. Helena Jansen had interested me in a Portuguese pipe. It had bullfighting motives round the bowl and many pointed horns. At the Devonport apartment, in the presence of Sir Giles and Angelo, the pipe had played a nasty trick on me. Oh, indeed, gentlemen, this pipe is an ugly device. Within the warmth of Senor Carson's pocket, it is suddenly grown dangerous. A spring is released and ping... Into its flesh goes this point, and it is tainted with the deadliest of poisons. Dastardly. Uh, Carson, uh, Carson, old chap, uh, h- how are you? Numb, sir. What? Then then the poison's taking effect? Uh, not yet, sir. More numbed at Helena's treachery. Surely she can't be behind this. What time is this for such wondering, Angel? I am not idle, Excellency. I'll say you're not. What the blazes <laughs> you think you're doing? Uh, uh, open your shirt, Senor. Uh, uh, leave it to me. Very well, Senor. Let me not alarm you, but there is little time. I know of these things. Carson, take his advice, old fellow. Right, sir. And there it is. I'm afraid I can't see any wounds. Thanks, yet. I've got my finger on the spot. Oh, yes. Yes, it's it very small. Perhaps your shirt softened the blow. It is enough. Senor Carson is in grave danger. Then I'll get onto the phone. No, 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 Excellency. I'm only ringing that doctor friend of ours, Dr. Mendel. There is not time. But what are we to do? There is but one chance. I must take it. Hey, that knife. By Jules, Angelo, what the deuce are you doing with it? You will hold it for a moment, Excellency. Well, oh, oh, very well. Angelo, what's going on? You will stand upon your feet, Senor. I want to know what's going on. Believe me, there is no time to be wasted. Carson, be a good fellow. Do as he says. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah, on the feet. Now what? Uh, you will close your eyes, Senor. But what is close it? them. Please, Carson. All right, Sir Giles. But what for? So that I may get to work with my fist. Uh, uh, what oh, the hell? Uh, uh, that was the last I remembered for some time. Angelo handed me two mighty blows on the jaw and I slid to the floor. What happened then had to be explained by Sir Giles later. But imagine my horror. Bewildered that Helena should have had a hand in this. Faintly aware already that the poison was taking effect. Then having the faithful Angelo turning upon me, taking an unfair advantage. It was much, much later when I was able to make my first protest. Ah, so you're with us again, Carson. Oh, and I am at last able to make my apologies to you, Senor. Apologies? No, no. Now, don't try to move, old chap. Uh, but I, you I'm... must conserve uh, your strength. There. Now, lie back. Uh, uh, you know, Carson, the fact is that you owe Angelo your uh, life. Uh, 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 how, how so? He, he had to put you oh, out. Indeed. Indeed, with your protests and the quick work that was so urgent with my knife. What else, Excellency? What else could I do? Nothing, old fellow. You did marvellously. And did you, of course, uh, Carson will realise. Now, now, old chap, how are you feeling? As you say, sir, weak, most. Yes. You've been to the grim, the brink of the grave, as the saying is. Angelo... Knocked your chest about a little. I say no, I'm... but uh, never mind. It'll heal. Uh, you've given us a most worrying time these past two days. Was, was that sir? two days? Yes, indeed, indeed. We've had Doctor Mendel by your side almost constantly. You know, it's a good thing you were so fit and husky. Some poison then. Mm, deadly old chap. However, now we're on the mend. Two days, eh? Hmm. <laughs> 
It's uh, one quick way to pass the time. Yeah, but that time's important to us at this stage, sir. Yes, it's true. But I rather think it's more important that you should be fit for further hazards. Uh, not another one like that, let's hope. Mm. It should cure you of pipes. <laughs> or should I say, these lady loves? You uh, haven't heard from Miss Jensen. Heard from her? Man alive. I owe her 100 criseros for the pipe. Yes, well, I think we'll forget that for the moment. I can't believe she did this deliberately, sir. Oh, there you go again. Not her form at all, sir. Well, we won't go into that for the moment. Uh, you know, you've got to rest. That's doctor's orders. But what about the missing women? What? What was that, old chap? Missing women? Fay, Hetty. Angela was about to tell us something concerning their whereabouts when that... That pipe warmed up. I really don't think that no, you I sh must know, sir. Oh, yeah. Well, tell him, Angelo. See, Excellency. Senor, the one who dances and the one who paints are both in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo? Huh. Together? No, that my relatives were not able to discover. I see. We know nothing further as yet, Carson. Angelo was standing by until you'd improved. Then he intended going out for further investigations. Oh, and what's he doing here? Well, give him a chance, man. We've lost two days already, yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. But we'll make it up. The point is that they're in Sao Paulo. Both of them. And that isn't much more than a hop, skip and a jump away. That's... That's all we know? Yes, that's all, old chap. But I've someone desperately anxious to see you. Uh, a, a young lady. Hmm? Uh, Elena Jensen? Great heavens, No. And certainly not Mademoiselle Carelli or Miss Fitzhenry. So, sir. <laughs> oh, Excellency, now my happiness returns. Senator Carson becomes his old self again. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, I think he's on the mend. Yeah, then I will seek out my relatives and inquire of them what further news. Splendid. And I'll phone Miss Sally. She'll be over here like a shot. <laughs> of course. I guess from the start it was Sally. Yeah, but uh, any word from London, sir? Uh, nothing, old chap. Nothing as yet. But do rest yourself. You're not out of the wood yet. No, I wasn't out of the wood. Far from it. But Sally's visit made a great deal of difference. She was working as a part-time secretary now to Commander Julius Grant, the explorer, assisting him with papers on a forthcoming book about his adventures. Angelo went out, and suddenly Sir Giles decided that this was a convenient time for him to leave the apartment, too. I was enjoying myself, until I thought about a certain school chum, now resident in Rio. Roger. Mm, so, Sally, seen anything of him? Well... You're not shy, are you? No, no. Yet it seems terrible to have been out dancing while you were so sick. Dancing? With friend Deville? Yes. But it's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Why concern me? Well, after all, you seem to be the only person I really know. Uh -huh. What about Deville? Well, he is different, don't you think? How so? Oh, Bruce, how could I answer that? Uh, then, let pass. <laughs> What's the joke? The way you talk, it, it's so funny. Well, it's not meant to be, isn't it? No, no, but so unusual. Oh, it's just the pipe. Have you always got a pipe in your mouth? No, no, my dear. I take it out quite often. Howsoever, mm, right. uh, you um, danced with Deville. Oh, you know. But I don't. Just a few times. I'm afraid I'm not very good at these Latin dances. Mm, but uh, Roger's teaching you, huh? Yes. How did you know? <laughs> As if I couldn't guess. Oh, but that should have been my privilege. Oh, Bruce, I I'm sorry, but... <laughs> oh, don't worry. No, I was only joking. Well, it'd be no privilege. I'm awful, really. Awful? Graceful creature like you, Sally. Oh, never let it be said. Graceful, Bruce? My dear, from the tips of your fingers to... Hello, what's that? Oh, it's the door. Uh, see who it is. Very well. Oh, it's Angela. Oh, back, eh? In here, old chap. Uh, come, Senor. Ah, well, Sally, I'm off your hands. What do you mean? Sir Giles left me in your charge, but Angela's back. You can go. Oh. And what is more, Senor Carson, I wish to have a conversation with you at once. Then, then you want me to go? Oh, not really, my dear. And only I the... understand. But it's wonderful to see you better. Oh, it's wonderful to have your company, Sally. I'll show you, old chap. Show the senorita out. Then straight back. <laughs> Now, 
this had best be good news, Angelo. I have sacrificed the delight of the young lady's presence. Then I fear to tell you this, Signora. Huh? Well, let's hear the worst. My relatives have not proceeded any further. They were waiting upon word from me, Signor, but... Oh, yes, yes, I understand. You uh, had to watch over a fellow you're not cold. Oh, Signor, it was imperative that I do something. Oh, don't worry. I realize, and I'm most grateful. But it has taught me a lesson. A lesson? So, not to throw punches when you're in a position to throw them back. Hmm. Quite a pile driver. That is a complimentary remark, perhaps? Hmm? Oh, Joe, yes. Oh, 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 then I thank you, Zainor. Yeah, but it's a pity we don't know more about Faye and Hetty. Sao Paulo's no small place. Both, both must be there for something, and no doubt to steal a march. A moment, Zainor. What, old chap? The door. Yeah, oh, that'll be Sir Giles. Mm. I'll go and see. Hello, Angelo. Ah. Do you beat me to it? Ah, only by a fraction, Excellency. <laughs> I met Miss Bruin downstairs. She seemed to think you fellows were anxious to get rid of her. So I take it, Angelo, you had some news. Oh, I fear not, Senor. Oh, bad oh, show. See, see. But where do you nick off to, sir? Oh, oh, me. Oh, I I just thought I'd leave you alone with the young lady. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> mm, appreciate it. Most. But um, what other reason? What other reason? Ah. <laughs> you seem to be uh, pleased with yourself, sir, if I might say. Indeed, cousin. We should all be pleased with ourselves. I've just had a reply from London, just decoded. We've some smashing news. We've really got leads to follow up now in our search. By the grin on Sir Giles' face, I felt that he had some information that was really going to get the poison out of my system. It seemed things were going our way. Yet, as we'd discovered, nothing could be certain in Operation Death Ray. Operation Death Ray. 